and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. Can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined toward criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And Judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that the constitutional journey must continue to speak to these consequential decisions, or that we've gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make. Judge, that's why this is a critical moment. We're going to go right back to Jan Crawford. She's had an opportunity to read more of the opinion. And Jan, what do you see? Scott, we are processing what is in fact this complicated decision, but it appears the Chief Justice has joined with four of the court's liberals to uphold the mandate. Jan, thank you very much. Headline of the hour, this is the most important thing that has happened so far. The Supreme Court has upheld the individual mandate, essentially, affirming that President Obama's health care law is indeed constitutional and the Congress did not exceed its authority when it essentially ordered every American to buy health insurance. He had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. I'm just going to test this. That's where I get the bottom of the floor. Yeah. Program. Okay. So. It's, it's live. <laughs> so pain management. Um, have you ever heard of Lamaze class? Like for pregnant ladies? So the breathing technique, it's, uh, it's got a very specific purpose. Um, when they're going like that, it's not because of the breathing. What they're trying to do is make the brain focus on a rhythm, right? And timing and keeping that timing. So uh, what they do is they focus on a point anywhere. Just focus your eyes on a point. And you start breathing in a very deliberate you know, rhythm. So you're like, it's not, it, it's very, it's in, out, in, out. And so that, that process of focusing on that breathing will alleviate some of the pain. While your brain's busy, basically, you're overloading the computer. Um, so you can try to do that, or you can just, uh, you know, grin and bear it or whatever. Um, yeah. So we're going to get rid of the animal shit. They don't preload these. That's great. Oh no, that is it. So that's that's the chip with the biobond coating. It's white coating. So that that coating is what uh, the body grows into and uh, locks in place. So we want to get rid of that. Now this has got um, isopropyl alcohol. So that's going to be quite stingy. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be good. <laughs>
So basically we're going to look for a place right in between. So you've got a, a nice uh, squishy area there, which is great. So we're basically just going to pinch up and go in, inject, and then I'm going to pr press and pull out, and then I'm going to give you the gauze and just put pressure. Oh, of course, it's brand new. <laughs> I'm going to use this to just poke it. So, I'm going to stick the band on here. Just letting us watch. Okay. So that was pretty exciting. A little bit of blood there. So go ahead and just keep pressure there. All right. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. I want to thank you.